Hi, and welcome to a quick video showing you how to launch an F5 application services demo environment in AWS. First, let's look at the prerequisites for running this lab. Well, you can need an AWS account with the rights to create some AWS objects, some kind of AWS CLI. I'm using PowerShell in this example, but a Linux shell is just as good. A throwaway SSH key pair, which you can generate anywhere you like, and an SSH client. So what are we going to do in the lab? Well, we're going to check some prerequisites, going to clone the GitHub repository with the lab in, create an S3 bucket and upload some files, edit a few key launch settings, launch the lab, and then we'll check that we have connectivity and auth inside of our lab environment. So let's check the prerequisites. Well, I know my uh, CLI and my Amazon account works, and I'm just checking I have my keys here. So the next thing to do is going to be to clone the GitHub repository. So I'm going to, just going to use the CLI command to git clone the uh, repository, which will be linked in some notes for this video. And I'm just pulling this down, and now I can just check that it's here and have a look what's inside the repository, where I'll see directories for AS3 declarations, CloudFormation templates, and scripts. Next, I need to create an S3 bucket and upload some files. So I'll just use the CLI to create an S3 bucket object. Now I need to copy my keys into the keys directory of the GitHub repository. And there we go. I have a script to upload the files into the S3 bucket. I just need to define the environment variable of the S3 bucket name. I always like to check they've actually set properly. And now I'm going to run the upload script to copy the CloudFormation templates and the keys into the S3 bucket. So let's just check what's, what's been uploaded. Here you can see the keys and the two CloudFormation templates that have been uploaded to the bucket. Next, we need to edit some launch settings. So I'm going to go ahead and open the launch script in a text editor. So there are just a few settings you'll need to change. You'll need to add in your account AWS key name, the parameter for the S3 bucket we created before, ideally an IP address range to lock down SSH access, and for application access. We need to set a password for the big IP. You can use anything you like. And finally, the URL of the template that we're going to use to launch the lab, which we uploaded earlier. And once we've done that, we're ready to launch the lab. To launch the lab, we just use the launch script. This will be a great time to get a cup of tea because this takes 10 to 15 minutes. But through the magic of editing, we can move on to the next step, which is to check that our labs have been created, connectivity and auth. The access details are provided in the outputs tab of your CloudFormation stack page in the AWS console. Be sure to use the main lab, not the nested. For now, we just need the utility server public IP address. I'm going to use my favorite SSH client to access it, preloaded with the keys I need. And there we are, I'm authenticated into my utility server. I'm just going to check that Docker's successfully installed and running. And now I'm going to check auth authentication to my other components inside the lab. So first the big IP. Yep, that's looking good. I've got the CLI of the big IP. And now let's check the app server.
Yep, and that's worked nicely too. The utility server downloads the latest lab repository as part of the build, so now you have all the tools you need to explore some of the test scenarios. See the documentation on GitHub to start testing and exploring. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you found it helpful.